Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have the one and only Sarah Simpio. We filmed a very sexy eye for you guys. Not that Sarah needs to be any more sexier. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do like a sultry eye for you guys. We both learned that we both love straight eyeliner. So this is gonna be like a little wing line, a little sultry brown eye, really fresh skin. I love it. I, I love when I love makeup and I hope that you love, love this makeup. If you guys wanna learn how to create this look, just keep on watching. Oh my God, I am so excited. I cannot believe I convinced Sarah Sampaio to come onto my YouTube channel. Uh, if, if you guys don't know who Sarah Sampaio is, she has graced the covers of Vogue, Harper's, that was honestly almost all of them. It's literally <laughs> crazy. I, I I started following you like probably like four years ago and I found you because of like working with all like the other Vic Victoria's yeah. Secret models and your hair, your skin, your eyes and like honestly like I think there's like certain girls in the industry that like all makeup artists like strive to work with like makeup artists, hairstylists, like stylists like and you are definitely Aww. one of them just because like honestly like Thank such you. like a natural beauty and just from hearing from like a bunch of like my friends in, in, in the industry that like I feel like you know what you like and, and I think oh, yeah. I love I love a girl <laughs> who knows exactly what she likes yeah. because it just makes my job easier. It also allows like me to just like learn too and, and I feel like you yeah. know your face better than anyone else so it's funny because like especially for events it's when we have more freedom to do what we want um, usually like I put on the dress and I kind of know what I want to do for hair and makeup it just like comes to me yeah and uh, so I just have like this image in my head and I really try to to get it done. That's why I'm like, I really usually know what I want. Yeah, guys, again, she has no makeup on. I just put on like a little bit of oil. She has such like perfect skin, but I feel like your signature look would probably be like super fresh, natural skin. Your freckles yeah. still showing, a little bit um, of mascara and like either like a berry lip or like a red lip. Yeah, or, I love doing a red lip or yeah. like a berry, a berry lip, but I also love to, to do eyes sometimes. So I'm just, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of a moisturizer onto Sarah's skin. We started off with a little bit of the Le Mer, um oil and then I'm just gonna put on the soft cream just to make sure your skin is nice and plump. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm I'm using. So this is my my lip balm. I am obsessed. You know, I've been trying so many different lip balms because in LA, my lips are just a mess. I'm gonna try I, it. I have to, you have to yeah, I'll give you, give I'll, some, I'll give you some. I haven't tried yours. It has like a little peppermint. I, I, I hope you like peppermint because mm -hmm. it has a little like minty. Oh, I like. I like, like it? it? Yeah. It's like kind of thick, but not kind of like, so it's like. I like them thick though. Me too, because me too. Because I feel like if they're not thick, they don't do anything. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> A little bit of under eye cream and then we can start with the eyes. So I've been obsessed with eyeliner, like whether it's like neon graphic or just like in the waterline. So I want to do like eyeliner just like in the inner corner and the outer corner and then do like a really nice like brown um, shadow. I'm going to start off by doing the eye primer first. Um, how, how often do you do your own makeup for like red carpets? Just because Almost you nothing. no never <laughs> no. no I think I did it a lot in the beginning and my makeup skills weren't the best so I'm like now I'm just I'm let I let it for the professionals yeah. but I mean if it's like a more like a party yeah and I I just want something natural maybe I'll I'll do it myself I don't know if you know but I've been on hold to do you like a good like a good amount of time so it is not easy to get booked by her oh my god she is. <laughs> She has like her people and she sticks to them. I feel like you use Car Car Carolina in. Yeah, um, I use Carolina. She is so, so, so talented. Yeah. Oh, you wanna know something funny about yeah. the day we worked together? Patrick did my makeup for in Cannes for this that was the Michael first. Kors d uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing like this Michael Kors suit and it was that night that he got me my new fragrance with them. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think your your new campaign just came out like a month ago or something. Yeah, like, exactly. She had big, it's called gorgeous. big, big fluffy hair, so gorgeous. Yeah, and um, and that's when he saw me like wearing the white suit and my big hair with like the red lips. He was like, "Oh, she would be perfect for this fragrance." Aww. So yeah. So I'm just putting on the eyeshadow primer just along. Um, the eyelids and I especially want to focus a lot of the primer more towards the end 
because that's where I'm gonna be really extending out the, the eyeshadow. So um, I feel like w w if I ever have um, like skipping, it's because I never, I don't have enough like either like a cream base there or a foundation. So I always wanna make sure that I focus most, most of the primer more towards the end of the eye. I'm gonna apply some eye patches just underneath. They help with like any eyeshadow fall, but also helps with like um, puffiness, like under eye, like like dry under eyes. Do you feel like your skin in LA is is better, or or your skin in New York? I think so. My skin is, looks always better in humid places, so I Definitely struggle a little <laughs> bit here. So I just tend to do more masks and um, and just make sure I have a really rich moisturizer. Mm -hmm. So the shadow shade that I'm using is um, like a taupe color. It's honestly like very similar to um, Sarah's hair color. Her hair is so long, guys. So you, like, I feel like I feel like quarantine has done your hair like good. Quarantine hair. I love it. Okay, so I'm still just using the same color, and I'm just putting this on the outer end of Sarah's eyes. I'm not really putting anything on the center. I want to leave like the center of the eyes, basically like her skin color, just so. Um, we really just elongate towards um, towards the outer end, and then um, and then and then once you once you have the shadow placement there, you really just want to blend out up and towards the end of the eyebrows. So I'm gonna take off a little bit of the end of the eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna line where the bottom waterline begins, and just like extend it out to the end of the eye. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little darker brown, just like right onto the outer lash line, um, just to kind of make the look a little bit more dramatic. I wanna, I'm, I'm always like trying to experiment on my, on my channel now, just because I feel like I always do the same thing, a natural bronzy eye, so boring. Um, and I feel like I wanna show you guys like, just a variation of styles that like you guys can do. So for all like the younger makeup artists out there, like when you are like picking someone to do your makeup, because I'm sure that so many of you guys leave in the comment sections below, but who would love to do Sarah's makeup? I feel like so many people would, would like die to, to do your makeup. I remember I like would, like was Aww. dying to do your makeup. So like what do you look for in a makeup artist? Uh, I definitely look for technique, mm -hmm. how they uh, like do lips, how they do eyeliners, um, and and then how the skin looks. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's also like the most important thing. And then if they're creative, yeah, you know, if they can execute think, something, execute and like think outside of the box, and yeah, um, and. And also like someone that really knows how to work with different faces. Yeah. You know, because I feel like some people only know how to do one type of highliner. Like, so I always look for like someone that is creative and that has like a good technique. Are you like, I feel like back in the day people would, um, you would get like suggestions from your agents and, and stuff. But are you the type of girl who will like, We'll look on Instagram and find yourself, or are you like? Do you like like su like suggestions from people that like you've worked with before, or are you like you pretty much know what you like and what and what yeah, you don't like? Yeah, like I I tend to um, always choose like people that I've worked with in like jobs mm -hmm. and that I really liked. Or, but then you know sometimes you just try someone new and you're like oh my god, like, yeah. and you get really excited because now you have more people on your list. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, do not hate me, but I'm gonna do her eyeliner off camera just because it's like really hard for me and I wanna do a good job. Um, again, this is my only second time doing Sarah's makeup, so I have to do a good job, so I will be <laughs> right back. So I'm not finished with the eyes yet, but I am going to um, put on some mascara. I'm using the Giorgio Armani um, Eyes to Kill. How, how, how long have you been the face of Armani? Uh, I think this is my third year. Third year, well. Wow. Yeah. What, were they your first um, makeup contract? Uh, yes, they were. What a good like. I it's know. it's it's honestly so nice to be able to be the face of something that you that has actually amazing Ama actually amazing like product. It, yeah. Every single person and their mom uses Armani Luminous Soak. I feel like everyone does. It's for me, it's the best foundation. It's like, yeah, it's been a staple yeah. like in my makeup kit for such a long what time. What I like about it is just like, you can either use just a little or you can build it up. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go into the foundation now since we've been talking so much about, about the foundation. 
So I'm using, so yeah, this is Armani Luminous Silk in number seven. And I am going to put a little bit onto like this Petri dish and I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna take a brush. I'm gonna just to kind of place this on the areas that I feel um, I like, I mean, I put foundation everywhere. <laughs> you probably just put foundation in a few areas, but. Yeah, I usually um, just only put it like, like the T area. I that's think. all? Yeah, pretty much. Well. And then if I have like little blemishes like here and there, but. You're about to leave with a full face, girl. But I, yeah, yeah I, 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 I love that. Like, I mean, but I'm saying like for day to day. Yeah, yeah. Not like for, for like red carpets, I'm like just. Just lather it on. Just lather a little bit more. So now I'm just gonna take um, my little beauty blender. I always like to apply the foundation on with a brush first. And then I'm just gonna take a sponge and kind of just press everything in. Um, what's really great about this foundation, because I feel like it's like, it's a it's a medium to, I think it, it, it can be full, it, it can be medium, it, 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 it can be light, I feel like it can be all the above, whatever you want it. But I just want like a really nice, like light coverage. So I'm just like taking this sponge and just kind of like pushing everything in, moving the product around and making sure that there's no like, harsh lines. And then I wanna take a little bit of this and just kinda, of, uh, I'm using like a smaller brush, but I wanna blend this into the eyeshadow. I, I really just wanna like diffuse um, the eyeshadow into the foundations again so there's no like harsh lines and everything just like blends seamlessly. I'll turn this way. All right, so I'm gonna be using, so this is the Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. I think it's always very important to hydrate right underneath the eyes before you put on concealer. And I'm putting it just like right there just because I feel like for me, um, I'm not putting it on Sarah today, but like a good amount of concealer can always crease and oh, we, yeah. do, we do not want that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of primer there and then just press it in. And then for concealer, I know that you like number seven, but I don't have a number seven. Okay. So I'm gonna mix um, 5.5 and number six. Okay. 5.5, 5. 5, I'm gonna put like right underneath your eyes just because um, I feel like you have a little bit of darkness there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use that to cancel out the darkness. And then six to kind of bring back the yellow. And then what I'm gonna do is just blend this out. I always like using like a little blending brush and kind of just blending it out. I think what's really good about the Luminous Silk Concealer too is that, again, it's like super moisturizing, it's blendable. Yeah. And um, do you use this one? Yeah, sometimes I don't even use foundation and that's, I only use the, um, oh, really? like when I'm having a good skin day. I'm gonna put a little bit of this just like right in the center of the face. I'm gonna do like kind of some some highlighting right now. Do you have a highlight or no? Mm -hmm. no? No? You're like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that talented. I just do like the basic on myself. The the foundation I've had in my kit seven plus years. Yeah, it's, um, it's the best foundation. But for for my but for my concealer, this is definitely like I think it's newer to. Yeah, I think they came out with it maybe last year. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty new. So I think it's supposed to be um, again moisturizing, yeah. like medium to full coverage. And then I'm just gonna take a little blender and just push the product in. It's so crazy that like you don't have to do like anything to your face and it looks <laughs> perfect. You. So this is like a hair lighter than your um, foundation color. I know that you don't like that. <laughs> it's funny because I usually do the opposite. What, I you usually... do darker? No, not with foundation, but then like I'll, I'll take like uh, a bronzer and I'll put it like on my nose. I'll put it Oh yeah, here. I do that with a bronzer after too. Yeah. Let me turn this way for me. All right, so now for contour, I'm using a new product. The mine is not out yet, mm -hmm. but um, it's a cream and powder product. So, so what I'm gonna do is kind of um, shape and sculpt Sarah's face, even though it doesn't need any sculpting. I'm gonna use a cream first, cause just because I feel like they blend the best with your makeup. And I'm coming out with this brush, um, and you can just like kind of stamp mm -hmm. stamp it on. And I, I really wanted to, we turn to the side of it, I really wanted to make sure that the contour is like a nice like bronzy, but with a gray undertone, so it's not mm -hmm. too like orange. 
Um, I like it. And then, um, just because like it's it should be the color of like a shadow. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna blend it in with a sponge. I'm gonna put a little bit onto the bottom of the chin as oh, yeah, well. I really like this. Just to cut the jaw. My double chin. <laughs> you know how a double chin. <laughs> when I look down, it's just like it's okay. It's age. It's age. You'll get there, kids. It's age. <laughs> And then we're just gonna blend in cream there. Yeah. So now for the nose, I'm just going to go ahead and just like blend um, the Luminous Silk um, concealer into the skin. And then I'm gonna use the contour, even though your nose is like <laughs> perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use the contour just to kind of sculpt around the edges. This is like definitely like you don't have to do, but I'm just doing it just to do it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the, um, this is the Luminous Silk Powder. Um, and I'm just gonna put this just right underneath the eyes. I'm not gonna powder too much on, on your face just because I don't wanna, I feel like this, like, this foundation like, kind of just like gives it, the whole, the whole point of Luminous Silk is so you have this like luminous like look. So. Yeah. I don't want to cover too much of that, but this powder also just like leaves like a little bit of, of a glow. Mm -hmm. um, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use the bronzer side of this product. Secret. <laughs> I'm just going to put this just like right onto the high points of the cheekbones, a little bit onto the halo of the forehead, and right on the chin. And Maybe a little bit on the nose, but I think I'm gonna leave that more for blush in, 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 in a second. So the blush I'm gonna be using, so this is She's So LA because Sarah is so LA now. I just use my blush, I'm just like going in patting motions just to like tap it on. I don't wanna like kinda like wipe just because I feel like when, when you wipe, it just like takes away all of like the hard work that you just spent on your um, skin. So I'm going to finish off the eyes now. I'm putting a little bit, so this is um, a, a, a black eyeliner. And look up for me, I'm just gonna put this just like right into the inner tear duct. Mm. I love it, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn this way. Okay, so. I feel like by doing this, it like really like elongates the yeah, eyes. Yeah, makes it look like a cat. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit, look down for me, just right onto the outer yeah. end of the eye. Let me see. <laughs> Same thing on this side. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I love when I like love, I, lo I love something. I get so excited. So before I finish off um, the full look, I just want to take a little bit of whatever eyeshadow that we use on top. I want to do this on the bottom as well. So I'm just taking um, like a taupe color. I'm just going to connect it to the under eye. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish off her eyelashes off camera. I'm just going to use some individuals. I'm using um, these House of Lashes individuals and then we're going to come right back. So I'm going to put a little bit of bottom mascara on. So look up for me just to the bottom of the lashes. I have really long bottom lashes. Do you, do you, do you not n n normally do it? I do actually, like, uh, it depends on the look as well. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you have long, long hair, long lashes. I know. And it's funny because you don't notice with my bottom ones until you, you put, put mascara, the mascara wow, it's on. so pretty. Because they're so blonde in the, in the, in the ends. Is this your natural hair color or, or yeah, do you have I never, blonde hair? No. I never colored. Let me turn this for me. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of my shaping wax just to kind of like eliminate them in place. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of it's like a it's a it's like an eyebrow wax. I'm gonna spray a little bit of my dewy milk mist just to activate it. Oh. And then it is a clear, it's okay. If it leaves like this like little like white residue, but it will dry clear. Mm. Just uh, peel them in off camera. 
So for lips, I'm gonna be using, she's bold, just like right onto the outer lip line. I'm gonna use like a nice like nudie brown, just to kind of, I want it to like match, um, match like the eye and like cheek color. Obviously not too dark. So I'm just gonna light line this. And then for the lips, I'm gonna be using She's Independent. <laughs> this is like a um, like a cream, a cream lip. So I'm just gonna put this like right towards the center of the lips. So I think that is basically it. I'm gonna spray a little bit of a setting spray just to melt everything in place. And maybe put a tiny bit of powder just right onto uh, Sarah's chin. I know my chin always gets so uh, I sweat a lot right here, right here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Put a little right here too. You make it look sexy. But let me show you the final, the, the final look. I'll be like, what? Oh wow. God, I wish I had somewhere to go. Do you, do you like the eyes? It's like it's it's I like it's, 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 so it's kind of cool, sexy. right? We have to do this for a red carpet. Yeah, I love it. Sarah, thank you so much for thank coming here today you. with me. I know that like you're so busy, and I I um like. Me doing your makeup two years ago for the Cannes Film Festival, and me doing your makeup now, like you look exactly the same. You look even, <laughs> you look, you look even Thank prettier. You. Your hair is longer. I know my um, hair is like a mermaid right now. <laughs> no, I honestly, I, I'm so grateful. Like I've, like I've always wanted to do your makeup and like just to be able to like share like just like techniques um, to. Um, the world. It's um, it's like honestly that really, really special. Fun. No, that was exciting. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.